Good morning, everybody. Quick announcement for those Bucci Radio podcast fans. Number one, thank you to everyone who recommended podcasts in the last video. So excited. There's so many, so many good podcasts out there. So thank you for your recommendations. Number two, if you are a fan of the podcast, I'm starting to put all the podcasts on YouTube. So I haven't recorded any of them in video up until I recently started recording them. So if you guys are interested or if you haven't listened to the podcast, you don't like going to find podcast apps and you want them just here on YouTube, I made a separate podcast YouTube channel. If you guys are interested, you can go subscribe, listen to the podcast on the YouTube channel, and that's where I'm going to be posting videos once I start recording them in the future. So if you guys are interested, go check it out. Now let's get to the video. Like your bike, babe? He's ready to roll. He's ready to go out the door. Last night, my mom is here and she's cooking steaks for us on the grill. She's a she's a pro cook. She always used to cook for us when we were kids. Yeah, I know. Lindsay says I'm not a good cook, though. Lindsay says you're not a good cook. <laughs> she, you're a great cook. She watches the Food Network. Oh, so you're not fancy enough. She doesn't her skill, she just knows what's available. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty boring. Potatoes is, and steak is fine for us. This is a long purple special. asparagus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a couple glasses of wine this weekend. How many? Two. Two. Just two. <laughs> purple asparagus, do you think they taste different? What did you get, filet? No. Or sirloin? Yeah, filet is not cut and come in those big cuts. <laughs> we got some sirloin, potatoes, and asparagus. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, dropped my mom off at the airport this morning and it was so incredibly nice to have her here. It was the first time she met him, which was great. They loved each other. Love. <laughs> and um, the other coolest thing that happened is that we got bikes. So excited, so excited. And the other coolest thing about that is that we don't have to do steady state cardio anymore <laughs> because we can ride bikes to the gym and back so that's what we're gonna do today first time taking the bikes to gold and then getting a workout in and then biking back it's probably about like three two two miles to the gym i'll say two miles yeah two miles to the gym or so and two miles back so like five miles 20 minutes each way yeah something like that all right finish the bike ride it officially took 25 minutes was it yeah oh damn 25 minutes for the full bike ride here Anyone remembers when I rolled my ankle? I'm pretty sure I can go in to get that fixed or like return them or something, but I damaged them, so I don't really know. All right guys, so after that bike ride, I was super warmed up and ready to go. My plan today is to do deadlifts and a little bit of back, a little bit of biceps. My plan today is also to really focus on the muscle mind connection. That's one of the most important things I found when it comes to growing muscle. And it makes a huge difference when you're just going through the motions versus when you're super hyper focused on squeezing, contracting, and stretching the muscle during the movement. So when you're deadlifting, I was just focused on making sure my form was on point. I did keep the weight pretty light. I did sets of 10 with 135, but I really just focused on my form and squeezing and keeping my back my back flat and my core tight with the deadlifts. They felt really good. They were a little hard at first because I just didn't just done um, a ton of biking and my quads were on fire, but overall deadlifts went really well. Next, I moved on to lat pull downs. Lat pull downs are like my staple back exercise. I always include them in every single back day, no matter what. There's always those certain movements that I like to include and then the ones that I just randomly throw in. Um, but lat pull downs are always one that I, that I like to focus on because I can feel it the most. And you guys know which exercises you can feel the most and which you struggle with. I do recommend um, going to do ones that you struggle with, but the ones that you feel the most, you should definitely keep doing. 
One of the ones I haven't done in a while is this weird looking thing right here. So I took the bench, put it on a little bit of an incline and then grabbed a easy bar cable, attached it to a medium to high height. And then I kept my neck flat. This is important because this is very easy to um, hyper extend your neck, but keeping your neck in a neutral position and then just really squeezing and pulling. It really, really, really focuses on the rhomboids and the lats. My lats were literally on fire. What I did was I just did a slow tempo, um, three seconds down, three second hold and squeeze, and then three seconds slow and back. It was, it was so intense, it like hurt like crazy. And I just actually loved it so much that I did um, five sets of it. So I focused on that. I didn't do too many different exercises, but this one was one that I like felt so much and I loved, so I kept going. Next thing I did was spider um, spider curls. <laughs> so this is essentially where you take the bar, an easy bar, and then you have your bench on an incline, you're lying flat on the incline bench, and then you're doing curls from there. Um, the gym was a little bit crowded, so I just moved over and did standing bicep curls instead. Easy bar curls, and I love these. I don't really train arms too, too often, but I do like to get a good bicep pump in every once in a while. I didn't record it, but I also supersetted with um, really light banded curls just to keep the burn going. Holy shit, that was a lot of cardio. My quads are on fire. It was took us about 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back. Something that I get asked quite often or I've got asked before in the past is should you do cardio before you lift or should you do it after? And there's actually a study that says doing it uh, 10 minutes before for like a warm up. About 10 minutes or so is probably a good amount of warm up time. Doing anything more than 10 to 15 minutes probably is going to affect your lift. So if your main priority is maintaining muscle and losing body fat, if it's just losing body fat, definitely do it before if you want to, if that works better for your schedule. But if you're trying to maintain your muscle and your focus should be on your on your weight training session, it should be 100%. You should be able to give 100% to your weight training session. And then if you will have the opportunity to do cardio after or separately, it's actually a little bit more optimal in order to maintain that muscle mass. So warming up before weight training is great. Warming up your muscles and making and like getting some blood flow going, that was really good for getting some blood flow going and warming up. It was definitely a little bit a little bit a little bit too much but I'm probably still gonna do it because I like to know what's optimal but sometimes what I actually want to do might not be the optimal thing which I think is really freeing to talk about and say just because something is optimal and just because it's like the best thing to do and like the best way to go about it that'll get you the most results the most fast whatever doesn't mean that it's gonna fit for your lifestyle for your schedule and your likes and wants so I love biking i'm so excited that we have these freaking bikes probably the best decision i've ever made brian is so happy that we have them too probably gonna end up biking to and from the gym a couple times a week it's gonna be a lot more cardio than i'm used to and i have to tell my coach and talk to him a little bit but this cut isn't gonna last forever and i just really like it it's just fun like it's okay just because i'm on a cut and I have like a prescribed amount of cardio that's optimal or whatever, doesn't mean that I should just stop doing what I find enjoyable. Exercise is enjoyable. I definitely had a little bit less of an optimal workout. I probably, uh, if I wanted to have like a really, really, really optimal weight training session, um, I might not bike when I have like squats, only because it's a lot of leg, <laughs> biking is a lot of leg. So if I have squats, probably not going to bike to the gym, but every other day, yeah, for sure. Takeaway. You can do whatever you want that makes you feel happy and enjoyable because whatever you like doing is what you're gonna actually stick to and then health is not just a one size fits all. There is an optimal way to do certain things. For example, doing cardio after you lift instead of just before, doing a 10 minute um, warm up on the bike or something like that is great, but anything longer than 15 minutes, 20 minutes is probably a little bit too much and it's probably gonna affect your workout. But again, do what you want to do. It's okay, you have the freedom to do what you like to do. Oh, I'm dead. Brian! <laughs> okay. So I um, made a boo-boo. I ate all my macros except for protein, and all I have is egg whites for dinner, so it's okay. I actually like really, really like egg whites. Like I love just a big bowl of egg whites with salt and pepper, and like that's it. So freaking good. Ta-da! Magic. Alrighty, y'all, it is the next day, and I am just so happy 
that I decided recently that going outside is what makes me feel really rejuvenated and energized. And I think that having a good morning routine is so important. And I'm one of those people that just struggles to have a good morning routine because I make my own schedule. I can just get up and like immediately go to my computer and be like, yep, that worked. And then I get so distracted and my brain feels jumbled and all that stuff. Um, but when I have a good morning routine and just set out, like I'm going to do this in the morning, even if it means waking up an hour earlier, even if it means just getting up a little bit earlier and getting it done, if I feel like I don't have time, it's really important to me. So um, what Brian and I have been doing is going outside and sitting on the deck outside and like just journaling. I write down what I'm grateful for, like five to 10 things. I write down what I'm grateful for that hasn't happened yet. So like something that's, I plan on envisioning in the future, like the law of attraction. I'm a huge believer in the law of attraction. I write down that, what I plan on in the future and just make it in, in uh, present tense so it sounds like it's actually real and it just makes it more real that way. I don't know if any of you guys do that visualization thing, but I'm a huge fan of that. I drink a glass of water, I sit outside and then I brush my, I eat, brush my teeth and put my makeup on for the day and like do my hair. I'm not a huge believer in getting fully ready in the morning, like putting my clothes on. Brian is really good at that, but I'm just like, this is gonna be for as long as possible. <laughs> but that's gonna be my morning routine, really writing those things down. Oh, along with like organizing my day. The biggest thing is organizing my day. So I love Google Calendar. And this is what I have done to my Google Calendar. Doo -doo -doo. So this is the week. This is what I have for the week, which is ridiculous. This is today, so this is not happening this morning, but plan and outline the video, finish filming it, send carry modules and PDFs for FOCA, um, gym, train, and eat all around this time frame, go to the office, and during the office hours, I have certain things that I have to do. Text my friends, make a thumbnail for YouTube video, record modules with, for FOCA, record a podcast, outline the podcast. That being said, I am super excited to have a great morning routine, but I'm also curious about what your morning routine looks like, what you like to do if you like to get up, if you like to read, if you like to meditate, if you just get up and go and you don't have time, if you like to walk your dog, if you make food for your kids, like what your morning routine looks like. I'm trying to get some ideas, so let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We have lots of, lots, lots happening in the next two weeks, so. Super excited to share all of that with you guys. I'll catch you guys then.